G'day, Joe Spencer here from Bow Wolf Builders. Today we're doing rafter tail cutoffs just to get our external gutter to run through. We're trying to match into the existing guttering line uh, and our rafter tails are a different height. If you have a look here, we've already got our lines. We've run a string line all the way through and we've already got our plumb line all the way up for our plumb line of our rafters. Here's a couple already cut and we continue that all the way through to the new extension, to the end of the new extension. So here we will cut a rafter tail. Make sure you cut your line in half and your string line is out of the way. Also make sure that the tail doesn't fall. You've got somebody else to grab the end. Here you can see we've cut our line straight in half. Nice plumb straight line down. And Matt just grabs a tail as we finish it off. Keep the base of your saw flat as you're running it down. Here you can see that we've got a nice straight line all the way through. We've continued it all the way to the middle of the original part of the house, all the way to the very end of the extension. You can also see all of our battens finished off. They're all been checked in and batten screwed into place. Uh, we just need to brace the roof, which we'll put a uh, roof bracing on or what's called speed brace and uh, then we'll start putting our guttering on roof sheeting uh, and capping that's our roof frame finished